I should send the link to him. He wants to join. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me, please? Hello. Can you please signify by waving hands if you can hear me loud and clear? OK, thank you. So uh, we are sorry for starting a bit late. So first, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Assistant Professor Dr. Jamie Oaditola Odugbeson, and I am the Deputy Dean of the Faculty of Economics, Administrative and Social Sciences. Today, I want to talk to us about the Faculty of Economics, Administrative and Social Sciences of Cyprus West University. I want to believe that we all know that Cyprus West University is located in the Northern Cyprus. So, Faculty of Economics, Administrative and Social Sciences is one of the two faculties two institutes and colleges, three colleges that we have in the university. So I will talk so much on the Faculty of Economics and Administrative and Social Sciences. So after my presentation about the faculty, I will love if there is any question for me so that I will entertain question after my presentation so that I can then address it. First, the Faculty of Economies, Administrative and Social Sciences of Cyprus West University is one of the faculties that was stipulated in the charter that established Cyprus West University in accordance with the TRNCIA Education Law, number of 65 slash 2005 as amended. In this faculty, at the moment, the faculty comprises of five departments with six programs. And the programs are as follows. In the Department of Business Administration, we have Bachelors of Science in Business Administration. Also in the Department of Civil Aviation Management, we have a program of Civil Aviation Management. In the Department of Logistics, we have Logistics Management. However, in the Department of Psychology, we have two programs where we have both psychology in English and psychology in Turkish. And the last department where the program is the Department of Tourism and Hotel Management. All our programs, except the psychology in Turkish, are running in English, meaning that the medium of instruction 
for all the programs except the psychology talkish is in Turkish. The faculty has already been stated, we have a mission of having all the national and international education training, research development practices by using universal values up to date international knowledge and technology with a quality education. And with the aim of raising students who have basic small values, who are competent, who are small, and who can make a living, who have dreams, and who are small scale and general values, and believe in their destiny and make the effort. Moreover, the faculty vision is to provide manpower required for control, able to adapt to global competition and technology and harassment. Because you all agree with me that the world is dynamic and as such, our faculty is ensuring that as the world is changing, we are also tailoring our curriculum to the changes that is happening all around the globe. Now, I would like to talk more on each of this program and I will start with the business administration. Business administration is one of the department or one of the program in the Faculty of Economic, Social, I mean, Administrative and Social Sciences. And um, it depends on the perspective that anyone can look at it because it has different meanings to how it's being used. In some contexts, some will look at it as business management, some call it business administration. But what actually matters as far as business program is concerned is that as far as our school is concerned, we teach basic business principles and practice. And in the work environment, it's sometimes being reversed to as the company effort to achieve organization goals and objective through improved use of human and materials resources. And in, in order for us to accommodate different perspective at which people can look at business administration, we try as much as possible to teach the basic business principles and practices and also how an organization can achieve their goals. And how an organization can achieve the goals depends on the employee, which are the graduates that we are training in our school. Yes, this has been some question that students usually ask that, okay, where can we work after the, the, the program, after we graduate from business administration? Our, but our potential graduates from our program, they actually have a lot of career path among which I listed here. For instance, they can serve as an accountant because in the curriculum of our business program, our business program has different areas of concentration that the student can actually Go, can actually focus on and become an expert in that field. In our curriculum, we try as much as possible to teach basic principles of accounting, both one and two, and also financial management, as well as the financial institution and marketing. So, and the market institution. So we try as much as possible to ensure that students can actually follow this path. Also the actuary, in our curriculum, we also try to ensure that those that will be interested in the financing and also that can actually work with figures, they also can follow this path after they graduated from our program. They can as well serve as a business consultant, can be a business manager and data analyst. For instance, we have a program that teach them how they can make use of data. One of them is quantitative techniques in business. This, top, this course is basically on how 
student or a graduate can actually integrate data and make an informed decision. They can as well be director of operation. We have different courses that actually dwells on the operations management. So after graduation, our students can as well follow this path. Financial analyst, like I said the other time that we also have in our curriculum that deals with the financial management. We have financial management and students can as well follow this route. Similarly, human resource specialists, they can become human resource specialists, they can become logistic manager, market research analysts, project managers, office manager, and the last but not the least, sales manager, because we have also several courses on marketing and students can actually focus on all this path. And um, our program, we try as much as possible we, to ensure that at the end of the day, the certificate awarded by our university is something that students can use anywhere around the globe. And this is more of the reason why we try to ensure that we sought for accreditation from reputable organization, especially the YOC, that is the Council of Higher Education in Turkey, having uh, knowing fully well that here we are Turkish Republic of um, Cyprus. So also we have UDAC, which is the Higher Education Inspection and Evaluation Board here. All these organizations, they have accredited our, all our business courses and then the certificate as well. So if a student graduates from this program, they do not have any problem with the accreditation. Also, we have some international accreditation like the International Council for Business Education, Principle for Responsible Management Education, Business Education Alliance, and the European Council for Business Education. So with all this accreditation, it is an indication that our program of business administration is adequately accredited by both the local and international accreditation, accredited organizations. So, I'll move from there to our logistic program. So the logistic program is the second program under the faculty that I will also like to talk about. When we are talking about logistic, you agree with me that there is no way, even in some organization, even in the military, everything depends on logistics. There is adequately nothing that you are going to do that you will not have an adequate logistic in place because once it's going to involve the input and output and also take it to where it's going to be useful, especially in this contemporary society. So in order for the graduates to also fit into this, we have a program that actually deals with the, 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 the gap in the labor market, which we feel the logistic management we actually uh, provide graduates that will fill the, the, the gap in the labor market. So this program, at the end of the day, the students can follow the part of being a logistic director because in the course of their training, they will have understand all the logistic rudiment how the goods and services can move from the point of production to where the consumer will need it. They can as well be a supply chain manager, also supply chain consultant and operational research analyst, because they will also, they will have been trained on how they can also make use of data to make an informed decision as regard the logistic. So also in addition to the earlier mentioned career path, the logistic graduate from our school also can follow, can pursue career in the area of supply chain design and planning, procurement and supply management, threat transportation, warehouse design and management, 
distribution network design and planning, inventory management and control. So all this career path is what we have been training our students, current students in logistic program, so that at the end of the day, they can fit perfectly into all this career path. And also similar to the business administration, logistic program also have been accredited by Yoke, Yodak, as well as TRNC, which is the local evaluation board that is in charge of the education and culture in North Cyprus. I'll move from there to tourist program, which tourism program, which is the third program under the Faculty of Economics, Administrative and Social Sciences. Tourism, in our university, we target tourism and hotel management. So it is not only on tourism, but also how, how the graduate from this program mm -hmm. can also follow a career path in the hospitality industry. So by the time a student will graduate from this program from our university, the student will have developed some analytical and critical problem solving skills, also verbal mm -hmm. communication, because there is no way a student or a graduate will want to work in the tourism industry and hospitality, and you will not be fluent in communication. You must have possessed the communication skill by the time you undergo the training of our tourism and uh, hotel management. Also written communication, leadership and delegation skill, also the information technology skill and the ability to network because the tourism and hospitality industry is all about networking. So we are training students so that at the end of the day, they will be versatile in this program. Now, the question is where can a graduate from tourism and hotel management, where can they work? What kind of career can they pursue? They can become an air coming crew in the airline industry. All, all the representative, hotel manager, tour manager, tourism officers, also tourism information center manager, where people can be seeking for information in respect of the tourist attractive places within their area of uh, jurisdiction. Also travel agency managers, health service manager, human resource officer, marketing executive, and last but not the least, retail manager. These are different career paths that a graduate of our program of tourism and hotel management can actually pursue. So also like other previous programs, we have accreditation from both the National Education Board of Turkey, the now Cyprus, and also we have international accreditation from ATLAS, which is the Association for Tourism and Leisure Education and Research. So our program of tourism and hotel management actually has both local and international accreditation. Now I will move to civil aviation program. We all know that in this modern society, there is no, we, we cannot, the role that the airline plays in the economy of any society cannot be oversized. Because unlike the road transport that has been in existence for, for several centuries, but the airline industry has been the latest and it remains the uh, industry has not been fully explored because it, we still have a lot of gap and shortage of equipped and expert in this field. And this is one of the reasons that our university also want to key into that area to ensure that to ensure that we provide graduates that we be able 
to fill the gap that is existing in the shortage skills that exist in that industry. So after graduating from this program, our graduates will be able to use all the knowledge we might have impacted in them to make sure that they function adequately within that industry. Now, where can the graduates from this program, where can they work? These are various career opportunities that are available for graduates of our civil aviation program. They can work as a passenger service supervisor, cargo personnel, operations supervisor, ramp personnel, station manager, ticketing and related departments, touristic facilities, such as ticketing. They can as well become a teacher working in the university or in the international office where they have to deal with different students as I am um, trying to um, help them in respect to their immigration traveling from one place out, they would not have um, issues. So they can work anywhere. They can function effectively anywhere that has to do with traveling and uh, documentation as well. So like every other program that I've listed before, our civil aviation program also has accreditation from both York, UDAC, and CRNC MEP. So our program is accredited. It is not a program that a student can get admitted to and they will be having um, any doubt that whether the program is accredited or not accredited. It is fully accredited. Now, the last program under the Faculty of Economic Administrative and Social Science that I'm going to talk about is psychology program. Like I said earlier, our psychology program, we have it both in Turkish and English. We know that for every society, the, our idea, the way we relate, the way we mingle and relate with each other within every society depend on our behavior. And sometimes this behavior, there are some discipline that need to understand them so that when people behave irrationally or they address some issue, the way that looks strange, definitely there are some people that will be able to understand why such an action. Because for somebody who is not an expert might not be able to provide an answer to such But these people will be able to provide an answer to issue that might arise from either the human behavior or their um, life rest. So we have different interested areas that a graduate from our university can explore. For instance, they can become a psychologist open your own uh, psychology clinic whereby people will be coming for you to, you know, assist them in providing some, um, some information, some solution to what is troubling their mind so that they can discuss it with you. And with that, you can use your expertise to understand the challenge they are facing and then add, um, advise them accordingly. Or psychotherapists, they can become a psychotherapist, for instance, some people that are suffering from psycho issues and then they need some rehab, they can work with them and then bring them back to normal. Social workers, they can be a social worker, counselor, educational psychologist, because they have to deal with, they understand more how our mind grows the development of our mind. They, we will have trained them in all this so they can as well become an educational psychologist. They can as well function as human resource manager or become a teacher 
or research roles, like becoming the lecturer, embark on research and become a researcher, or media roles. They can as well function as a media uh, personnel. And um, last but not the least, is about the accreditation of this program as well. So like every other program, our psychology program, both the English and the Turkish is well accredited by both the Yoke, Yodak and TRNC MEP. So these are all programs that we have as far as our faculty is concerned. And my message to all the prospective students out there, especially the agents that want to bring students to our university, to advertise our university to them, I want to assure you that myself and my colleagues, that we will welcome every prospective student to our faculty with a warm welcome. We will give them an enabling environment for them to be able to achieve their lifelong goals and ensure that we impart a sustainable knowledge in them. So we are very excited to be here to share the faculty with you. And we are looking forward to partner with everyone out there in achieving the educational goal of either your, your children or your the people you want to bring to our university. We will be glad to ensure that we create a, an, a, a conducive and enabling learning environment for them. Also, our faculty, like I said earlier, not only that we will teach them in some of these specific programs, we also have at the faculty level, we have some common courses. Why do we have these common courses is for us to be able to broaden their knowledge so that they can not only that they will understand everything about business or the psychology, but we also try to create, to broaden the horizon of their knowledge, to understand what is happening in other parts of the discipline as well, so that when they go out there, they can be able to fit perfectly in the real world um, contest. So the last one of the least here is that our aim is to raise graduates who we combine theory and practice and have come to terms with the reality of business life, produce an academic background that we enable them to achieve their long life goals. Thank you very much for having me. Now I will listen to your question. Thank you. Any question? Is there anyone that have a question here? Question. I think I saw this picture. Yeah. They are not here. Okay. In the absence of no question, I think that shows that we all understood what our faculty stand for. So thank you very much. We'll be looking forward to welcome you to Cyprus West University and to take up a program in the Faculty of Economics, Administrative and Social Sciences. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.
Bye for now.